It's so great to be back at Oshkosh, see old friends and new friends. Uh, but what's happened over the period of time since we were here last two years ago is we've been doing a lot of flying. But the key thing today as we announce three different new topics is that Bi Aerospace has been flying and maintaining electric aircraft for the last five years. It's not a concept, it's not a PowerPoint, it's an active operating electric aircraft, a technology demonstrator for motors and batteries, but most important, it's a technology demonstrator for the future of general aviation. Starting with the E-Flyer 2, serial number one, assemblies underway. That's really cool. The process and the progress with the FAA towards certification, the world's first normal category, Part 23, Amendment 64, normal category aircraft. We have three hours of flight endurance with the E-Flyer 2. One of the announcements today is that we're going to be equipping our avionics suite with a G500T XI. The Saffron electric motor, again, a certified motor, going through the complete rigor of certification with EASA and then with the FAA will be the propulsion system for the E-Flyer 2. Iterating from the E-Flyer 2 is the E-Flyer 4. We have the same propulsion system provider, Saffron's providing the motor up front. The aerodynamic structure systems, all of that are derived right from the two into the four. The certification program derived right from the two to the four. 200 kilowatts creates a 200 knot airplane. 48 inch wide cabin, so very, very similar to a Cirrus. One of the great benefits of electric is that we're insensitive to density altitude. So all of the limitations of a non-turbocharged airplane don't apply to electric. The E-Flyer 4 with range, speed, and altitude has all of the benefits of supercharge without the cost. We have the same torque at 17,000 feet as we do at sea level. We have very nearly the same climb rate at 17,000 feet that we do at sea level. So E-Flyer 4, over 1,000 feet per minute rate of climb, 200 knots at 200 kilowatts, 330 nautical mile range, and no payload exchange. The fuel payload exchange that we normally experience. When we plan our flight, we're trading fuel for payload. We're paying attention to density, altitude, and temperature. Of course, we still do that. We still have weight and balance, but it's much, much simplified with electric. All of the specifications on this aircraft create a new paradigm in utility, in air taxi, in transportation. Beyond the two and the four is the E-Flyer 800. We take the systems and the capability of the E-Flyer 2 and the four, and we create a turboprop category of aircraft, again, with the benefits and the technology of electric, 35,000 foot pressurized aircraft, 320 knots and a 500 nautical mile range, eight seats, 35,000 feet and pressurized. An amazing aircraft, and of course our friends at Jet It Jet Club were our launch customers for the E-Flyer 800. L3 Harris is working with us on defense and government applications. With that kind of speed and payload, there's interesting defense and government use for the E-Flyer 800 as well. Today, our third press announcement is a leasing company called Sky Aviation. And Sky has a number of E-Flyer 2s, E-Flyer 4s, but today what we're announcing with Sky is 15 E-Flyer 800s. So they put a purchase deposit down uh, with Bi Aerospace, signed an agreement with us to look to the future 
of electric aviation, but as a leasing company, be a conduit, an enabler for other companies to lease and operate the eFlyer 800 along with twos and fours. And we're very, very proud of this program. We expect to bring the eFlyer 800 to market, certify it in the 2025 timeframe. So about four years, a little bit more or so in that range coming up. eFlyer 2, end of next year, early 2023. eFlyer 4, a year to follow. eFlyer 800, 2025 timeframe. Pioneering, being first to market, is kind of cool. It also is kind of hard. The honor of being a pioneer is bringing to the next generation of pilots, just like myself when I was a youngster, is the opportunity to enjoy what we all enjoy, bringing the next generation of technology to benefit all of us, but also the next generation coming along. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com.